The internal security organization today paraded suspects and survivors of carjacking and human trafficking incidents. We shall probably advise very soon the head of state to write an obituary note on impunity, rampant criminality, defiance, corruption networks, and all other forms of economic, economic sabotage. At the rare press conference called by the Director General of the Internal Security Organization, retired Colonel Frank Bajenda, one of the suspects, 29-year-old Muviru Kayongo, who was arrested in Lunguja, Kampala, was paraded. He claimed to have been driving stolen vehicles into Democratic Republic of Congo through Arua district at a fee of 500,000 shillings. This is the truck Kayongo was driving at the time he was caught. I was driving a vehicle Journalists wanted to know how Kayongo beat security at the Uganda-Congo border for 12 years. Shortcuts were easy. It is estimated that at least 10 vehicles are stolen from Uganda and taken to Congo every day. Suspects have become assets. They are working with us, giving us the, the in-depth of the crime, of the crime or the criminal community around. So they are working with us. When you see them with us, you don't get surprised. Also at the briefing, were a number of people who have fallen victim of human traffickers. They accused two men, now under detention, of trafficking people to Malaysia and Thailand. When I reached Thailand, there was nothing to be done. So I claimed for my time ticket, it wasn't there. It had paid for it. I wanted to know whether ISO's activities do not clash with what police is doing to fight crime. We cannot work in isolation. We cannot succeed. We don't have detention centers, corrective units, or correctional units. That is your opinion. My role is to support police. According to the Director General ISO, criminals have built sophisticated networks and have also penetrated some security agencies and it will take concerted effort to weed them out. Sudil Yaruhanga, NTV ISO headquarters, Nakasero Kampala.